Clay and Madison, the day has finally arrived. You're here. You made it. All of the plans, all of the conversations, all of your dreams have brought you to this very special moment in your life. Clay, you are an answer to many prayers prayed by myself and my family. You are exceedingly and abundantly more than anything I could have asked for or imagined. I thank God and will continue to thank God daily for the gift you are in my life. Today I commit myself to you. I commit to loving you and choosing you every single day. Madison, your mom and I love you so much. We planned you and we prayed for you. You were our first child. You have the beauty and the kindness of your mother and have the music and the ministry of your father. You bring joy to us every time you enter the room. You set the tone wherever you go. When you are up, we're all up. And when you're down, <laughs> we all go down. I've waited a hundred years, but I'd wait a million more for you. Madison, since my very first love letter to you, Nothing I've been patiently waiting and looking forward to today. I promise I wasn't going to cry. <laughs> I often tried to make this day happen quicker, but God had lessons in mind for me to learn before meeting you. Every lesson, whether it be painful or something I had to get through, I would do it all over again just to get back to this specific moment in my life. How you curl your lip when you concentrate enough. It's not often that a father gets to also be the pastor. A rare privilege to get to experience this moment from two vantage points. One is of the pastor who wants to bless this union through scripture and prayer, but the other is the father who gives our one and only daughter to this young man. Your love is my turning page Only the sweetest words remain Not many men get to experience what I'm experiencing today. Marrying the woman that I've been praying for my entire life. The woman that my parents have been praying for. The woman that has made life more abundant than I could have ever imagined. At the start of our relationship, I was 99.99% sure I was going to ask you to be my wife one day. After the first couple of months, I knew without a doubt in my mind that I would ask you to be my wife, just like I asked you to go on our first date. If I had only felt how it feels to be yours, well, I would have known what I've been living for. I vow to be the best husband and one day father that I can be. I vow to always lead you closer to Him and never leave you away. As many have told me before, as long as you put God first, everything will work out, but it will not always be rainbows, tulips, and daisies. Marriage is tough. It is not for the faint heart. My heart will never grow old of loving you. Even when my hair grows get gray, my strength dissipates and gravity does its magic. I vow to love you unconditionally through the good, the bad, and the ugly. 
Madison, you have been nothing but a blessing in my life. I would do everything all over again. I would go through all the sacrifice just to get to you. Woo! <laughs> wow. Uh, I vow to keep God at the center of our marriage, remembering that he is the foundation of our family. Hallelujah. I vow to serve you and support you as you become the man, the husband, and one day the father that God has destined for you to be. I will trust you and follow you as you lead our family. Every day I will endeavor to make the mundane moments fun and do whatever I can to help you realize your dreams. Through sickness and in health, through richer or poorer, Better or worse, we are in this together forever, and I love you. I love you. This ring I give to you. This ring I give to you. As a token of my love and devotion. As a token of my love and devotion. I pledge to you all that I am. I pledge to you all that I am. And all I will ever be. And all that I ever will be. This ring I give to you. This ring I give to you. As a token of my love and devotion. I pledge to you all that I am. And all that I will ever be. As your I now pronounce you man and wife. What God has joined together, let no man separate. Clayton, you may kiss the flag. so blessed by Madison and her presence in my life. I've always noticed that Madison possesses a spirit of peace and quiet strength through every season that she's walked through. She is dependable and steadfast in who she is, and it has been such an inspiration to me. I cannot wait to see her step into this beautiful season of marriage. Madison, I know you are going to make the world's greatest wife. You complete each other perfectly, and I have no, no, no doubt that you will have a long and happy marriage together. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Madison, take care of my brother for me, because you're never going to find a, a guy like him around. <laughs> Clay, thank you for being so good to Madison and making her smile over the course of the last couple of years. May God bless you both. To the Nooners! Yeah.